What's up, there, amigos? I'm the Jive Talking Nerd, John Norgrove. We've got Wife here. This is Review Jive. We just got done watching recently uh, VFW, the 2019 action horror movie that I did not know I needed in my life. Exactly. This fucking movie was so good. It was uh, delightful. It was so good. Okay, we're gonna give a review for this movie. If you're new here, don't forget to like this video, comment below, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that kind of stuff. Make it happen. All right, let's get into this. So, VFW is basically like um, an action movie on steroids. Yeah. Uh, it's starring, thank you, Kasha, <laughs> Kasha, Kasha, <laughs> Kasha. So, VFW, uh, Just I just wanna go over the cast. It's Stephen Lang, Martin Coe, Fred Williamson, um, William Sadler, uh, Sierra McCormick, uh, Dora Madison Burge, and uh, David Patrick Kelly. Okay, these old timers, do such a fantastic job. They really They are do. the funnest yeah. people in this. So the movie is basically about like, uh, 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 there's this VFW bar, which is uh, Veterans of Foreign Wars. So there's like VFW hangout bar and a bunch of old timers have gotten together. And uh, oh, Norm is in this also. Yeah. Um, and uh, like Norm and a bunch of old guys are in there and they're like, oh, it's so-and-so's birthday. We're gonna go to the titty club down the street. And they're like, yeah, cool. That sounds awesome. And so they're getting ready for that, and then like this young girl runs in, um, and uh, is like, these guys are chasing me, and these guys come, like, break in and start kind of acting crazy. And so these dudes just, like, murder them. Yeah. Um, and they're just like, oh shit, we committed a murder. Like, maybe we deal with this shit later. We want to go see some boobies. Uh, but then uh, the, dr the drug addicts. This is in some distant future where the world is divided into regular people and supreme, like, almost zombie-level drug addicts. Yeah. Uh, like and they're, like, everywhere. Like, if you've seen Ghosts of Mars, yes. that's yeah. what these drug addicts yeah. are like. They're, they're like, like the possessed people yeah. from they're like, Ghosts of Mars. They're like zombies. They're, I mean, they're, they're just... They're fun This is they're functionally like zombies. zombies. They're like meth zombies. Meth zombies. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, um... Like, a bunch of meth zombies start trying to break in and shit, and they're just like, what the fuck is going on? And, uh, yeah. and so they ask the girl, and she doesn't want to say nothing, and then one of the guys finds that she actually stole, like, a bunch of drugs, and she's like, dude, drug kingpin guy, like, he killed my sister, so I stole all his drugs, so he's probably gonna kill me. And, of course, the soldiers are like, well, he's not gonna let us live now, that's great. Yeah. Um, I guess we're gonna kill these guys, and so this guy comes out, and listen, he's not threatening looking at all. No. He looks like he weighs 90 pounds, um, yeah. and he's dressed like, uh... He's dressed like a gimp out on the town. He's about as threatening his, as he's the like, bad his, guy his, from Jupiter his, Ascending. His, yeah, but which wearing is just like not... clothes from Thunderdome. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. totally. It's is so it's he's and he's just it's so dumb. He's like this non-threatening <laughs> drug lord guy that all the drug addicts are just like mind control zombies for him. Yeah. Uh, that being said, his like. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Yeah, I don't. I was like, are they? Are they like your boyfriend and girlfriend thing? But I don't think that was the case. I think it's just like his lieutenant or whatever. She's badass. She's super threatening. Um, yeah. But so he basically comes outside and is like, listen, give me the drugs or you all die. And they're like, fuck you, buddy. And he's like, all right, fine. We're gonna send yeah. them wave after wave of drug zombies at you. So and many. So Hench drug zombies. So we, we get we get a music montage of old yep. men making improvised weapons and then wave after wave In of zombies. <laughs> and with each wave, successfully one of these old men dies um, through a series of, of uh, like badass grunting and like murder. And these guys are fucking murdering. This, this movie is super bloody. Yeah. It's super gory. And these guys are just like just like punching a dude's head in until he's just punching the wall on the other side. Like, yeah. it's fucking crazy. Yeah. How it, it's it, like, very grindhouse It's, it's very grindhouse horror. Yeah. It's awesome. Holy shit, they did such a great job with this. And it's like, it's a very visceral movie. Yeah. But, um, so they just like, like, it's sort of like a wave of, the wave of drug zombies, one old man goes down. And so they get down to the last couple of old men and, um, Finally, they kill the bad guy because, like, he was a 120 pound, 120 pound year old kid. Uh, yeah, but they don't just like, they don't 20 just, year old kid. They don't just kill just, the bad guy. They like they like missed him. Yeah, they they like He's they like misted. shoot him and then smash him with a car and then like explode him into a fireball. He's like hyper dead. Yeah, misted. Um, and so like the girl and the young soldier who just got back from war and the one old guy make it out alive. Um, 
you know, to like walk off into the sunset or whatever the heck. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's so very, badass. The ending is the ending reminded me a lot of From Dusk Till Dawn. It is. It's, yeah, it's, it's a very it totally, like it's very like the, yeah. the, the war's over. We're just gonna walk off. Right. Like, like we haven't solved the problem. We just got ourselves out of the hole that we were in. Yeah, kind of yeah. thing. And it's like, a bunch we're of done here. Bunch of great kills in this. Yeah. Right. Um, I think for me the best kill is probably when um. The young guy soldier finally like gets his hands on the the like bear or whatever the hell his name was, and it's just like slamming oh, him into the his head into yeah. the knee, and it's just just knees this guy's head into just like concave. Yeah, yeah. Um, which was fucking badass. What about you? The best best kill. Ooh, best kill. Um, I think I actually think the best kill is the most is the first kill and perhaps the most absurd of all of them. And I don't even think you were in the room for this. The Norm's very kill. No, at the very, very beginning, the drug lord, they're trying to like show how like how like ruthless but also powerful the drug lord is. Mm, yeah. And the girl who escapes later into the VFW, this is that chick's sister. So um, she's like a druggie and she's like, come on, Mr. Drug Lord, give me my fix, flicks. Uh, and he's like, if you want to get your fix, you have to jump off this roof of like a movie theater uh, is what it looks like on the outside, but wow. on the inside, it could be apartments we don't know what? um and she's like but if i jump i'll die and he's like well, i guess maybe you won't die if you jump because then you'll you know you'll die without your fix right and she's like okay but if i jump off and live i still get my fix right and he's like yes so she jumps off and she just she does not live it's like <laughs> obviously it's, right like it's like i've ever evil. seen those videos of people dropping watermelons off of buildings that's what it was like her fall was maybe 40 feet in the air oh, and yeah. she just like watermeloned out oh, in the yeah. most absurd oh, okay. so, ragdoll so way and it really things, set the tone for the movie. A few things against but not in a bad way this movie is that uh, everybody has a blood pressure of like 40 or 50 psi <laughs> and everybody has approximately 50 gallons of blood <laughs> inside of their body at one point in time like this dude is bleeding, and he's just he's just bleeding so much. Everywhere. And you're like, what? How is there so much blood just coming so out of this guy? Blood. One point in time, a dude gets stabbed in the neck, and it's just like, bah! It's just like a cool, like a quick <laughs> mist, which is like a crazy amount of pressure. Like, dude, what? No, that's that's crazy town. So it's a it's a really like they must have gone through like two truckloads of like blood. No, I feel like, a like tanker they, truck they had to blood. have gone through less because they basically cut all the fake blood with water because yeah. it was not it viscous. Was, yeah, it was, it was like, like thin, watery. Yeah, and, well, and also this is a lot of like like close grindhouse cuts. If you're not yeah. into grindhouse movies, you might not be into this. Although like, but I'm just gonna if say you're into grindhouse or like Quentin Tarantino mm. or the kind of like schlocky one-liners because there's a lot of fantastic one-liners yeah, one from these liners. grizzled old timers yeah. a lot of old timers and yeah. old timers face about old timers stuff it's fucking great <laughs> yeah. these guys are like these guys just th there's a line like at the very beginning when the like like the tiny evil guy is just like he's like what does vfw stand for and it's like girl tells him what it stands for and he's like good that means that they know how to die and because Julie and I, soldiers, Julie and and I both like... look at each other like, but these are the ones that survived. What are you fucking <laughs> talking about? Right? And everybody's just like, oh yeah, like, like that's a, and they like, they sell it like it's a, like a heavy thing that he said. Yeah. And I'm like, that's dumb. It, that's yeah. not even logical. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. And, but, but, but it's, it works, right? Because the movie never really takes itself like reality seriously. Yeah. It, it's in universe excuse for a lot of shit. It's just like a dude being like, they're like, what if a cop hurt? Like, why aren't the cops going to be called? And the guy's like, out here, gunshots don't matter. That's it. It's the only time they reference Except the fact that, there's that like, they like blow shit there's up. There's like 300 druggies oh, yeah. that this end up just, getting killed by these guys. This is just guys. the drug it's... area of the city. And I guess police don't go there literally at all because there's a mountain of corpses in this guy's fucking bar. Yeah. And it's just it must like be blood like, leaking yeah. out the windows level. It must be level. like Judge Dread Future. It must yeah, take place it's like Judge Dread Future. Judge Dredd. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but no, this was a fantastic movie. This was super movie. fun. We had a great time yeah. with it. I highly we recommend it. We watched it on, on Shudder. Yeah, we watched it on Shudder, which was dope. 
Uh, if you don't have Shutter, we're totally not sponsored by them. If they want to, Shutter sponsor us. Yeah. But um, we it's just dope. super love. We their just content. super love horror movies and we super love their content. So go check that out. Yeah. But either way, I have been John Norton. This has been wife. This is Review Jive. We watched um, VFW on Shutter. It was amazing, and you should go watch it. Don't Absolutely. forget to like this video, comment below, share, subscribe. Ring the bell. Do that. Uh, check out our podcast, Horror Cold and Podcast. It's a witchy podcast. It comes out every other Monday. Yep. So give that a check out, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the flip side.